My name is Dawn Wages, and I am the Python community advocate here at Microsoft. And I'm here with my friend Vadim, the subject matter expert on Python and C++ together. And I'm excited to learn a lot. I hope you learn a lot with me. So my name is uh, Vadim Frolov, and uh, I'm uh, currently connecting to you from Norway, uh, Oslo. The motivation is that uh, you may have your Python uh, program and you would like to utilize some of the C++ libraries for various reasons. We have a fun example today. Yeah, so the demo will be about uh, creating a video filters. Uh, uh, I was doing... Uh, oh, this one was my favorite! <laughs> uh, in uh, yeah, Python and these video filters can be used in uh, such programs as uh, Teams and Skype and uh, Zoom and uh, any other uh, program. This is the things. <laughs> hey! <I'm... laughs> I work uh, at Microsoft as a data scientist in a uh, uh, Microsoft 365 uh, department where we develop everything around uh, Microsoft 365 products like uh, Outlook, uh, Office, yeah, Teams, and uh, uh, yeah, the rest. I'm hearing reasons why why people would want to use Python and C++ together. Um, mm -hmm. And this example that we have as well. You may want to speed up your code, or maybe you have a large uh, library <clears throat> which you would like to use, uh, or maybe you want to just hide uh, some of the source code of your Python uh, project, and then you can uh, compile this uh, uh, part of the project into uh, yeah binary and then use this binary from Python. So we will use uh, Python to uh, do all the image capturing and image processing and uh, now filtering, but uh, the C++ part will be used for <laughs> quite small task uh, for enumer enumerating the cameras because by default the libraries which uh, are available in Python they didn't provide you much information about what kind of video source do you have. Uh, so I created a, a project uh, which is available on uh, GitHub, which consists uh, of uh, two main subfolders. Uh, the first one is uh, Dewey Pi filters. That's our Python application. And another one is uh, Vin Enumerator, which mm -hmm. is the C++ code. And in addition, uh, it has some uh, files like README and also the solution file for the Visual Studio and requirements txt for creating the Python environment. Now, uh, the files itself in each of the subfolders are, um, I hope, very straightforward and easy to understand. So in C++, we have basically one C++ file called main.cpp, uh, uh, which contains the code for getting the devices out. And it uses uh, Windows API and specifically direct show. And then on the Python side, we have uh, an application.pi file, uh, application.qml file, uh, the pi project file, which is uh, related to the Visual Studio and some images which we'll use uh, in the filters. So the, the application itself, it uses uh, multiple uh, libraries. Uh, one of them is OpenCV. This is a actually a C++ library uh, for image processing, which uh, exposes its functionality through Python. Uh, and another one uh, library, which I will use extensively is called uh, Qt. It's uh, a library which originated for creating graphical user interface. And this uh, .qml file is related to this uh, Qt library or framework. Okay, great. Right, so once you get, uh, uh, get the source code on your machine. You can open it up in uh, the Visual Studio. And now because we are using these, uh, we are creating these Python bindings uh, for C++, um, it may be a bit tricky to get all the things right and uh, set up your environment. So that's why I created a, a small batch uh, script uh, for starting the Visual Studio. So you can run the Visual Studio from here. And what it does is basically just 
providing the information to the Visual Studio about uh, the files needed to create uh, these binaries in C++, like include and uh, libraries for people who are familiar with uh, C++ development. So once this is done, we can go to Visual Studio, open it uh, through this. So we will have two projects, and the Vim enumerator and the Dewey Pi filters. Uh, I already created uh, the the virtual environment in Python uh, for for using it, and uh, uh, the projects are configured in such a way that the Vim enumerator will be built automatically when you run the Dewey Pi filters. So we'll try to run it now, um, maybe in the debugger right away, and we can uh, open the main CP, uh, CPP files and uh, we'll put a breakpoint here, right? Cool. And maybe we'll open the app.pi file and also go to the and and we'll put a breakpoint here. So this code, we get the cameras from the Win enumerator, and then we start the graphical user interface. So we'll see what happens and whether it will actually work. Now we will uh, start this application in a debugger mode. Let's see if it works. So I'm just uh, pressing the start button here, which is a standard way of starting a debugger in Visual Studio. It will take some time to load because it also loads all its users. Um, yeah, so while it is loading, I can uh, maybe talk a bit about uh, this uh, way of creating bindings uh, in uh, C++ for the Python. Uh, mm -hmm. There are different ways of doing this and there are different libraries and uh, support code uh, for this. Uh, one of the most famous uh, uh, library, I think it's called uh, Cython. And uh, the way it works, you as a programmer, you write uh, code in a language which is very similar to Python, but with some uh, additional syntax sugar. And then this code is uh, transposed or transpiled into the C code. And then this C code is uh, compiled into a binary. So this means that uh, you actually need to uh, create your library in that specific language. Uh, I think it won't uh, really suit uh, for the use case where you have uh, uh, already pre-existing uh, C++ library. Then another, uh, framework which I use uh, here is called uh, PI bind 11 and uh, this is uh, uh, a library which uh, uh, basically just wraps your C++ code and uh, uh, enables it uh, for the Python okay. uh, and maybe maybe to step a bit back uh, back and uh, to think about like why why you need all these libraries uh, to actually talk to each other between Python and C Sharp. And uh, the obvious answer is because uh, the, these languages are so much different. Like they are different in how they handle the memory. They are different in how they handle uh, data, uh, how they handle like their internal type representation. So if you have uh, an integer number in Python, it's not the same as an integer num uh, number in uh, uh, C or C++. And this means that uh, whenever there is a communication between uh, these two languages, then you have to convert your data. I can go back to, uh, to the GitHub code and I can mm -hmm. show the example of the wrap of C++ into Python and uh, how it is actually done with okay. the pbind11 library. So if you scroll, scroll all the way down, this mm -hmm. is the main function uh, which is exposed to Python. So it's called least cameras. And mm -hmm. uh, you can see that uh, it doesn't take any input arguments. Uh, for our use case, we don't need it, but it returns a vector of a tuple. tuple. So each tuple is an integer and a string. And you can also see that it uses uh, 
the standard C++ types. Uh, so it's mm -hmm. a standard string and standard vector that doesn't do any uh, yeah, processing. And uh, uh, the interesting uh, part comes here with this uh, P bind 11 uh, module macros. Yep. This is where you define uh, the functions which will be exported and available for uh, Python. So here I basically just create a module, I provide some documentation for this module, and then I define a function which will be known in Python as list cameras, and I use a reference to my C++ function. Cool. Um, and I also de uh, define the a version of <clears throat> of the module and the way it works uh, this ma macros and also the standard uh, c++ types is that uh, pbind can know like it supports the stl and it knows mm -hmm. that the vector if you use the standard vector it should be converted to a python list and it can do it for you so you don't need to think about this uh, too much and you can do your normal c++ programming uh, so let's see if it started already. Mm, yes. So yeah. now you can see that we actually stopped into the C++ code, right? And then we can yeah. do all our regular debugging uh, things, like we can go and do the step over. Mm -hmm. um, let's see how quick it will be. Right, it goes all the way here to the res already. Okay, don't get any cameras maybe because my camera is uh, is used, but you can also see in the call stack, mm -hmm. you can see that we have a Python here, mm. Python here, and then suddenly we got this, uh, yeah, Veen enumerator. It's also Python, but it uh, it is available in the C. So we gonna hit continue and we'll see if we will stop in our Python code now. Great. Yes, Hope. and we are in our Python code. And I think this is uh, pretty awesome because uh, uh, we were in the C++ just before, and now we are in the Python. And uh, this is again the call stack of the Python. <clears throat> it just, uh, I think it's super cool and uh, allows uh, one to <clears throat> really develop uh, C++ and Python code simultaneously. Without this functionality, you would have to have maybe two separate integrated development environments opened, one for the C++, another one for uh, Python, and then you would do the C++ part first, for example, and then you test it and uh, run it and then uh, some kind provide it to the Python and then you do the debugging in Python. So I, would, I, I think uh, this will speed up the development time greatly. And we were talking about this a little bit before the call. So your development, you're using uh, Python 3.9. And I just wanted to chat a little bit about that development experience. We are the latest and greatest of um, Python is Python 3.11, which came, back, um, came out in October. Um, shout out to the Faster C Python team, an internal team um, at Microsoft who contributed to making this newest version of Python 3.11 and making it faster. Um, but this experience may not be the most seamless or accessible in um, the newer versions. Um, if you're using integrated uh, Python and C++ um, or using other um, other languages with mixed mode debugging, um, uh, where you can go to submit uh, um, submit uh, issues to the Visual Studio team in order to support this experience more extensively. And so I'm really excited for what you shared with us today and for all of the future opportunities we have to be able to streamline this even more. So we talked about some of the limitations of the mixed debugging experience, and we have a call to action if anyone is doing C++ and Python. But let's get into the demo. Can you show us if it works? Yeah, let's try it out. So I have a couple of filters here, and uh, they should uh, work. So let's start with a simple one, like a sepia mode. OK. Uh, which is, uh, yeah, all right. And then we can also do some snowfalls. Oh. Uh, <laughs> No snowflakes, I'm ready for summer. <laughs> All right, then uh, summer sometimes is like this. Ooh, okay. I'm a bit hallucinating, but uh, 
on the other days, uh, I like to be on my spaceship and uh, go on the Python journey. Nice. Oh, let's let's zoom in on that. Oh, cool. And we're just a few days too late for May the 4th, but this is such a good one. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Well, it was so great talking with you today, Vadim. I'm just so appreciative that you were able to do this demo for us and like show us one of your hobby projects and talk a little bit more about what you do here at Microsoft. I'm really appreciative. Yeah, thank you for having me. It was a really great pleasure to present. See you soon. See you. Bye. Great. That was awesome. Thank you so much. I'm like, so like, this was great. I appreciate this. And I'm, yeah, just thank you so much for giving some of your time for this. Ooh, this one's a cool one too. I yeah, love that, that one. Is a bit strange. I love that. Oh, great. Yeah, so. I have a, yeah, the third one is, uh, should actually oh. call my eye and mark it a red dot. I don't know if it works. Yes. Oh, like this. It's a bit creepy. I know. It, just, <laughs> it, is, yeah. it actually is. I want it to be more like a Terminator. <laughs> yeah. And I also have, uh, an attempt to do a uh, snap filter. Snapchat. That's very cute. That's a nice hat. Oh, I wish <laughs> I had my pink hat next to my desk. I have a pink hat too. 